Hello everybody, um, here I am in a field of rape, uh, we, we will seed rape, we just, we've done it, we've done about half a day's combining yesterday um, and now we're going to carry on with the rest of our oil seed rape today. I've got the, the fun job today which is putting the combine on the header um, and I thought it was a super good opportunity to just show you, if you've never seen it before, how you actually go about putting this very wide header on this very large combine. So the first thing that we have to do is on the front of the combine we have kind of the, the bit where the, the header sits. So we have to clean clean all of this off to make sure that the, the header sits um, well really level and connects properly. This is probably the worst bit of the job. It's so dusty. Then the second stage is to uh, make sure the the connectors are out of the out of the header. So these pins hold the header on the trailer when we're going up the road. So we just do that so they're unconnected. Just do the other one. Then now we're we're ready to actually put it on. So now we have to go up and get in the combine. So this is the definitely the trickiest bit um, to get everything in line um, so we can actually put it on. And also this is going to be very tricky, I, <laughs> I now realise, to hold my phone and do this. Um, so I'm just going to have to find somewhere to balance it. Here we go. Now we have to get um, that hole in the middle of the header um, lined up with the, the bit on the front of the combine that's actually going to hold it on. And then those metal um, pieces at the front make sure that it stays on. So here we go. First attempt. Am I going to get it in first attempt? This is the first time, this is actually the first time I've done this this year. Usually by the end of the year, um, is <laughs> you get much better at it. But this is the first time I've done this this year, so I'm going to be very surprised if I do this first time. Oh, I actually have, I think. Yes! Okay, so I've done this first time. So we're now in line. Um, I'm now lifting the whole header up and we're essentially now on. So if I back off, we now have the header connected um, and on the combine. So we just have to back up, put the header down, and then we just have to go back out and manually connect um, some of the connection points on the combine. So you can now see the header is attached to the combine. Um, it now looks like a combine would when you see pictures of it. Um, but what we just have to do is connect some of the, the manual sections, connect some of the like physical pipes and um, PTO shafts so that the actual header and the combine can electronically speak to each other but also physically do the, the actual action we want it to. Um, so I'm just going to balance the phone somewhere and then you can watch me do that.
that's it actually. Um, it's, it's very simple nowadays. We just have this one yellow shaft, which um, makes all the movement and the turning happen in the combine. Um, then we have this big set of pipes. Um, some of these are, are, are electrical pipes for sensors and things, and some of them are, or most of them are hydraulic pipes to move um, things on the combine. So now, yeah, um, we're ready to go harvesting, essentially. Everything's set up, the field looks ready. Um, so now we're gonna go do some harvesting. <laughs> 